These for the sun. There's an interesting thing to apologise for. We normally miss it in this country, but welcome to Parkgate Leisure. Please subscribe guys, regular videos coming of stock we've got for sale. Just interesting things that people like to see, I think, part of the time. So we've got a Ford Transit here, 2002. Um, it is an auto sleeper duetto, so factory conversion from new. Never been anything other than a camper van. Um, this particular one we sold well, maybe two or three years ago. Uh, so very pleased to see it back. It's a superb model. Uh, the garage actually commented specifically on this one about uh, how rust free it was underneath. Um, but still, we've got a, a, a few nice little extras on this. Oh, there's a spare wheel trim in there. So we've got a rear camera that's uh, been fitted since I last saw it. Um, and we've also got a nice awning that was there before. Um, but inside, the usual uh, auto sleeper quality. We've got a nice long bench there that pulls across to make a double across the way, if that's how you wanted to sleep. Or you can slide these two front seats forwards. And with these little cushions in here, you can make it into a couple of singles with a nice gap in the middle. Um, these are all on proper ball bearing filing drawer style runners, so they slide in and out very easily. They're not the wooden lats placed on top of wooden lats. And there is actually a proper three point belt fitted to this seat. So it is a three seat belt, two berth model. TV stand with your sockets I don't think people have got tellies that small anymore but you could still stand it on there store it somewhere else for travel you've got the uh, three burner hob uh, oven grill um, all nice blue in this we've got a, a sink there sorry the sun's really causing issues with sight we've got the usual three-way fridge gas mains electric 12 volt from the engine a uh, very simple control panel with the Urbispatcher diesel heater there uh, to heat the inside of the van. As you probably realise with these little vans now, they do come with a Thetford cassette toilet, a little drop down sink. And also this is a shower room, so there is a proper little shower there. There's a panel on the back of this door that does open and go across lock in over here so if you wanted to get changed during the day you haven't got to go around and draw every blind in the van you can just in the back there shut that one pull the curtains across the back and uh, and get changed but um, remarkable amount of storage there's your plates cups up there you've got a pan drawer at the bottom down there another cupboard there for cutlery and uh, some bits of food etc more storage cupboards over this side and of course the big one at the front that you've already seen there's additional storage under these seats I'm going to show you oh, that really is just how easy it is to drop, drop these down and then with the seat slid forward and an extra cushion in there you've got a bed you're looking at about five foot nine on that side slightly longer on this side because these are not quite parallel with each other um, so you're about five foot eleven on this side. Um, loads of storage under the seats as well. There's one of the big tables. One, one of the tables, that's the big one. Um, and there is another table just down there. So you've got a small one as well. And they just pop in these uh, these holes on the floor. You've got a <laughs> captain's seat on the passenger side that does spin driver's one doesn't um, but there you go a uh, bit of a whirlwind but it's not the biggest van in the world super popular auto trail uh, sorry auto sleeper um, from the era when they were top quality thank you very much please subscribe